and a lot of people watching this story closely, the future of PG&E is up in the air, as we've been reporting. And a hearing next month could be a major turning point. Becca Hobberg, you were in San Francisco today at that hearing, the latest one. Bring us up to speed on what's going on now. Yeah, well, so today in federal bankruptcy court, we heard discussions on two competing plans to get PG&E out of bankruptcy. You know, earlier this month, PG&E filed its plan for getting out of bankruptcy. And by law, the company that declares bankruptcy gets first crack at getting out of bankruptcy. Kind of makes sense, you know? Uh, but there is another group that just in the last few days came up with a competing plan. Now, at a hearing next month, they'll argue that the judge should consider their plan alongside PG&E's plan and decide between the two, you know, instead of giving PG&E first in line, you know? Right. Uh, now, attorneys for wildfire victims support that new competing plan. Those wildfire victims' attorneys say that the new plan has more money for victims and it would give the competing group control of PG&E. They would begin to run this company and they have indicated, mm -hmm. at least in terms of their plan, mm -hmm. that they are willing to restructure corporate governance, mm -hmm. restructure and put uh, experienced people in place that have managed utilities before to get this company run right. So we'll see how that conversation goes. Right. The federal judge, though, overseeing PG&E's bankruptcy, he's ultimately the one who will approve any plan. Uh, for its part, PG&E says it will oppose any plans that compete with the bankruptcy reorganization plan that it submitted earlier this month. Um, a judge, by the way, set that court date for October 7th. So it should be really interesting to hear both sides argue, uh, you know, whether the plan should be competing or, as PG&E right. will argue, whether they should have that first crack and have it stay just for them, you know? Right, yeah, we will definitely be watching this closely for a lot of you, PG&E customers, a lot, of, a lot at stake here. Definitely. All right, definitely. Becca, thank you so much. And we'll